right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. It's the brother Yatazak from the Great Millstone Dallas camp. And I just wanted to uh, go into uh, Psalms 118, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, you're hard pressed in Babylon in 2017 to find Yahweh being glorified, you know what I'm saying? And as the scriptures say, all these things were written aforetime for our learning. So through patience and comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope, you know? And King David, I, I want to say this is King David, if I'm not mistaken, in Psalms 118. Uh, he glorified Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai constantly, you know what I'm saying? Even when, uh, 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 even after he had sinned, he, he had understood his, his fault, you know what I'm saying? He understood the power of Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just wanted to go ahead and go into this chapter because uh, it, it, it hit home with me. It hit home with me earlier this week. So, uh, Lord willing it to be the same for you, Aki. All right, this is uh, Psalms chapter 118, verse 1. It says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh, for he is good, because his mercy endures forever. You know, and his mercy for Israel endures forever. You know what I'm saying? When you go into how he chose Israel to be his people and uh, the whole thing with that, you know what I'm saying? It says uh, the Lord will yet choose Israel. He don't change his mind. There's plenty of precepts that will make the hopeful elect be just that, the hopeful elect. You know what I'm saying? It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good because his mercy endures forever. So no matter what we've been through and all these different captivities and all that type of stuff, the Lord still loves his chosen people, you know? It says, let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them know that the fear of the Lord, uh, that fear of the Lord, uh, Salakia, verse four says, let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. You know what I'm saying? Trickling on down to us. You know, we fear the Lord here at Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down. We fear the most high. That's why we get out there on the highways and the byways. That's why we uh, try to keep the laws to our best of our ability. This is why we try to do as many lessons as we can to wake up the hopeful elect. Because according to the scripture, according to the will of the Heavenly Father, the word is going to be preached all over the four corners of the earth before he sent his son back. It says, uh, verse 5, it says, I called upon the Lord in distress, which is what we're doing here in Babylon. It says, the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I would not fear. What can man do unto me? See, and this is the this is the approach that we have to take. You know what I'm saying? Earlier, I was talking to the brother Bakwasha down in Houston, and uh, he was basically uh, talking about how... Um, the acceptance of, the, of this truth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna lock us up? Okay. Y'all gonna kill us? Okay. Y'all gonna do this? Okay. That's fine. Do what you gotta do. You know? But we gonna call upon the Lord in our distress, man. And the Lord is gonna answer us, man, if we stay faithful until the end. And say, the Lord is on my side. I would not fear. What can man do unto me? You know? And that's a, that's a, that's a bold statement, man. Verse 7, it says, The Lord taketh my part with them that help me, Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me, man. You know? King David knew. King David knew. You know what I'm saying? It says, the Lord taketh my part with them that hate uh that uh with them that help me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that the men that the men that uh that, that, that have alts with you or the men that your, your enemies, you know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing to you because the Lord is protecting you. You know? He said, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man, you know? So for all these guys out there talking about you can't do, uh, uh, you can't be following men and you don't got to follow no man and all that, you know what I'm saying? You don't have an understanding of the scriptures because the Lord ain't coming down here, man. This place is too filthy, man. So he's going to put trust, he, you have to put trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that he put the right men around you, man. Just that simple. Said it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. You know, 
Jake always want to talk about what they going to do. You know what I'm saying? You got General Yohanna and all them. You know what I'm saying? You got all these fat, out of shape, overweight dudes practicing MMA and shooting guns and all that. Bro, first of all, you got to get in shape before you can go to war. You know what I'm saying? But they don't put their trust in the Lord, man. They put their confidence in, 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 in uh, weapons and fighting, man. The scriptures say the Lord going to teach our hands to war in that day, man. When his vengeance get put on those men, man, they gonna do exactly what need to be done, man. It says, all nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They can pass me about. Yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. I will destroy them, man. In the name of the Lord, we're gonna destroy our enemies, man. It's the, 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 the good pleasure of the Heavenly Father for us to destroy the enemies, man. If we those men. And we working towards that, man. A lot more than a whole lot of other people, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fear. That's what I'm saying. People don't fear the most high. They don't think his mercy endure forever. They too busy filling their own bellies and doing whatever they want to do. It says, they could pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. You know? See, and that's what's going on right now, man. They got all these different smear campaigns and, you know, they, they, they gearing up for war. They got all these different uh, uh, weapons of warfare that they plan on unleashing and all that. And don't none of that matter to us, man. Don't none of that matter to us, man. It say, thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord has helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. You know, you have to understand that. You have to have that understanding, man, especially living in Babylon, man. Especially living in Babylon. Can you imagine? Can you imagine not having the Heavenly Father on your side in Babylon with what's coming to this place? I don't want no parts of that, man. And I don't want no parts of that for the Aki, man. You know, it says the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh Shai represents the right hand of the Lord, man, because he's going to send him back. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we that's what we hope for. That's what I'm saying. We hope not to die. We hope to live and to be able to declare the works of the Lord through executing vengeance upon the heathen, man, and getting the planet back in order like it should be. It says, the Lord has chastened me sore, but he had not given me over unto death. You know, we getting our ass kicked in Babylon. We getting our brakes beat off, but the Lord ain't destroy us, man. According to Baruch chapter 4, you know what I'm saying? He said he was going to punish us for a certain time, and then he was going to bring us out of it. And that's what's happening. That's what you see taking place. It says, open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord in which the righteous shall enter, the straight gate. You know what I'm saying? It says, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner, going into Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? It says, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord. I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed, uh, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my power, I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. You know? And if that, if that don't, uh, if, if that don't boost your, your, your spirit up, or or if that don't uh, 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 make you want to fight even more, if that don't make you more confident in your walk, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and blessings to the elect. Shalom.